Hello, so we're going to go over how to start in Photoshop. I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop 2020 and we want to begin by, you know, how do we just even start in Photoshop? So I'm going to make a new layer or a new file, sorry, file new. Um, there's a lot of different options here um, and good information about all of them. 1920 by 1080 is a standard that we like to use. We really like in the digital art and design program to use the horizontal. Uh, so that would be a recommendation. Uh, but I do have a file that I've already started, so I'm going to um, go with that. But in this case, you would just hit create and you can see that you've got your safe zones and things like that. Um, I am going to go to file open recent because we've been working on the um, character cubes. And so this is kind of like the baked uh, image that I'm gonna be working on with you today, although I'm gonna be showing you dry media brushes today. Uh, so to start with, I'm going to go with file open and um, cancel. File, open recent, and go to uh, the cube character. File, open recent, cube character, PSD. Bear with me a second. I'm gonna go to my folder where I've already downloaded this stuff. The cube 1A, when we downloaded the files, that is the, the file that we're going to have you guys work from. So what I'd like to do is control click on that and then click open with and choose the software that um, we're gonna be working with. So um, today we're working in Photoshop 2020 Okay, so this is the, the way that you would start with a file if you're getting a template. Uh, thanks to the people at about.com for this really cool dice template. I'm going to make a new layer, which is on the bottom. Uh, when you're starting out, uh, first of all, I'm going to have you guys go to a workspace, and I'm in the painting right now, but you could be in essentials, and things are just going to be way too simple. I really want you guys to work in a more advanced state, so we're going to go to workspace and choose painting for what we're doing right now. This layers would have been already on the side, so I want to show you how to access that. So um, layers is something that I bring up all the time, every single time that I do my work. So with the layers open, uh, the next thing for you to know uh, is that this, this layer right here, we don't want to actually draw over it. We want to use it as uh, the, the image that we don't really touch. So in order to do that, we're going to double click on where it says background. And this is, we're going to rename this called cube. Um, and then I'm going to make a new layer. So this little plus down below is our new layer. Um, and then I can draw above that. That's really helpful to be able to um, make images above the other images. That'll be really helpful as you guys um, create your pieces. So with this, I um, don't want that untitled. I want this one. This is the one I'm working on. So I'm going to bring up and arrange to vertical. I think that will help us to see kind of where we're going. And I'm going to use these as references also. So um, basically um, with this particular project, although um, you guys could be watching this for any, any uh, set, um, the idea is to make different uh, visuals, um, different emotions, which are totally fun. So this one's surprised. Whoa, I'm totally surprised. Laughing, uh, <laughs> uh, fear. Ah, someone's running out of fear. This one's miffed. <laughs> um, I'm turning these eyeballs all on and off so that we can see which ones they are. This one is uh, disgruntled and uh, doubt. It could kind of be both of them. So he's like, hmm, I'm not quite sure about that. And then the one on the very bottom is, is happy. Um, so these are what I'm going to um, work on um, kind of replicating how um, I had done those actually in Animate. Uh, so now I'm going to be working in Photoshop and the key to working in Photoshop is that as you're working in Photoshop you can work to, uh, to have a sketch underneath and 
uh, then make it more finalized like the ink drawings that I have over here. Um, so today I really want to show you guys sketching process in Photoshop. So um, this tool right here is the uh, brush presets tools and there are general brushes when you first start in, in Photoshop uh, but if you do not have the other things like the dry media brushes, wet media, these are things that I've um, gotten from adobe.com and so these are things that I would go and uh, get more of these. So I'm going to show you guys how to get more, especially we want to get access to the dry media brushes. So I'm going to go to uh, the gear up here on the top right and with that gear I'm going to go to get more brushes and that will open up Adobe and you'll need to sign in to download. Okay, so now we're at adobe.com and we have uh, entered our password and we're about to get some really cool brushes. Uh, Kyle Webster got picked up uh, and he made uh, all of these brushes. So the Mega Pack definitely wanna install and the Dry Media Pack, um, but in the future you will want to go through and get more of these depending on the style that you're gonna wanna work at. So thanks to Kyle Webster and his total awesome skills in making brushes. I'm going to click download for the mega pack and download for the dry media pack. And these are ABRs. I'm going to wait then for those. So this dry media pack has just come in. I'll show it in the finder. And the next thing that I want you guys to do is to make sure that you have these in a place where you're going to be able to see them. So, uh, you need to please make a folder on your desktop. So file, new folder, and it's going to be called brushes and presets. And the dry media ABR is going to go in there and we're going to put in any sort of actions or anything else that um, we're going to uh, have like colors, um, people will be sharing brushes with you. All of that will be very helpful. So here goes the mega pack. Okay. So you want to be able to access those later. So now I'm going to take us back into Photoshop 2020 and I'm going to take us into this brush, which is different than this. This, this one here, these brush presets will come with the uh, opacity, the flow, the smooth, the color, all will be in, inside of it. So these are the dry media brushes. I've already uh, uh, loaded them, but I want to uh, be able to put in the other brushes as well. So I, um, I'll show you guys how to do them. So you're going to click on the gear and then you're going to import brushes. And then you're going to go find where you place them. So brushes and presets. And I'm going to do the mega pack. I'm going to hit open and the mega pack is going to be sitting there. And then, um, the dry media brushes are, are right here, but it feels like they're, mine are a little bit truncated, and so I'd like to go get more. So import brushes, dry media, ABR, and open those. So let's see what he's got. Yeah, I'm right. There's a lot more dry media brushes in this set. So I'm going to use um, these. The Mega Pack uh, comes with a drawing box, a paint box. All of that is pretty fantastic. So, But the dry media brushes, um, you will try to try to explore and find anything, uh, something that is going to work for you. I'm going to try the perfect pencil basic um, to go for uh, a look here. So we go down here, D for brush, um, and you can see that it's set to flow at 45. It's set to zero smoothing, but um, I'm just going to kind of test this one out. Um, for me, this is not quite as dark as I would like it to be. So I'd like to um, try to get another brush. So keep going back and, and keep on looking until you found a brush that you really like. Um, I'm going to go into the Mega Pack and go into the drawing box. The Animator Pencil is quite a lovely one as I remember. I can make a new layer, um, turn this one off and try to work with that. Um, not really pleased with that. I do want to go to image, image size, check out, this is eight and a half by 11 at 150 DPI. Um, it's not really, maybe potentially quite big enough. So I'm going to check out this file, 
um, image, image size, and uh, it's also quite small. So what I'd like to do is on this one, I'm going to go back and go to image, image size, and uh, that's because this one that was on the right was originally taken from Animate, so um, I want to make this uh, in half by 11 at 300, D 300 dpi. Um, that will make it, the new one uh, is a much larger file, it's 24 megabytes instead of 6. And I think that you'll see that as we work on it now, the brushes um, are going to act differently. So I'm going to um, turn my layers back on and off again, make a new layer, keep it on testing these brushes. To me, this one is just really not dark enough. I could um, go and make, a, make this dark by going all the way to the black. Um, and I can hit the right bracket, which is... Um, next to, there we go, I feel like this is going to be more, a little bit more in my style in terms of the way that I want to work with it. So um, this is uh, now within the range of something that I'm going to be able to, to play with. So um, I found a brush that works for me, but it is up to you guys to find a brush that will really work for, for you. Um, I've been making these kind of snow characters, so I'm kind of playing with that. But I can see that I'm going outside of where I want to go with the box. Um, so these are nicely positioned. So I'm going to hit L for lasso. I'm going to grab this whole guy. He was the only one on the layer, so I could have just hit the layer. Um, the shortcut for transform is Command T, and it's got a rotation point in it. If you don't have that rotation point, I want you guys to um, to go through this process, I'll talk about it a little bit. So there, I've got the rotation, hit return, and then Command D to deselect. So I'm gonna do that again, Command T. If you didn't have this rotation point, which is important because I could rotate it from the, this base or from this base, and you can then get it on necks and stuff, which is helpful. Um, I'm gonna get him to come back here, hit return. If you don't have that, then I want you to go to um, Photoshop, Preferences, General, and um, go to Tools and show reference point when using Transform. This is really important because we want to be able to get to the Transform to be able to move around in different places. Um, so I'm going to continue to do my drawing here. Um, you can then hit E for Eraser. This Eraser, um, let's see. So in the mega pack, there's um, different erasers. I like a natural edge with my um, with my pencil ones, but I think that this one is set to being at it's like actually not really functioning for me because it's not really erasing enough. So I want something to be a little bit stronger. Maybe the gradual will work. Bracket, 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 smaller, smaller, smaller. I feel like I'm having to erase too much, so I really want to, um, I'll go in with a flat one, why not, and just go in and clean this stuff up. So erasing um, is can be a helpful tool. You don't have to feel like you have to get things perfect all, all along, so try to um, play with that idea that, um, that you're working towards something, that uh, it doesn't have to be perfect all, all along, especially um, as you're just working on just working on uh, sketches for the first time. So uh, he's like, mm. but I'm not sure if I have the exact kind of mood that I want to get um, from this character. So one of the things that I really want you guys to work on is liquefying, transforming, warping, whatever it takes to get uh, these characters where they need to be. Like I want these eyes to be a little bit different. So I'm gonna hit L for lasso. If you're not on the right lasso, which um, I would definitely recommend on this point to use the, the kind of cowboy lasso, the polygon lasso is better if you're doing something really ge geometric. So I'm grabbing this one, Command T. I can get the rotation point to come down here and then get this to come in a better location for me. Hit return, hit Command D, um, and that uh, gets it to go. Um, now I'm gonna play with uh, the the mouth as a way to get um, the mouth to be a little bit more 
uh, interesting towards an attitude. So you can go to Command T, and then you can hit this tool up here, which is the Warp tool. Um, there's a lot of new features with the Warp tool in, um, in the new version of Photoshop, which allows you to kind of play with it more. Um, so you can run a split, Okay, so I can add these different things. I can add a split right here. I can add a split right here. So if you drop them, then you can get the, the, the mouth, in this case, to be uh, more extreme. Um, so it's, it's really quite helpful. Um, adding another split here allows me to then, oops, Command Z drag this stuff around. <laughs> so um, I'm, gonna hit com I'm gonna hit return um, and command, command D to deselect. I'm going to just erase this because that's sort of not really working. He's kind of like, he's kind of like a silly little guy. I'm gonna um, reduce the size of his eyes. So command T, if you hold down, um, Shift and Option, and we'll all go in together. Actually, that was the old program, so I'm gonna command period that. That stops the transformation, command T again. It will now just, actually, if you hold down Option, it will go into the center point. Um, so I can play with that. Um, trying to get it to feel accurate. If you, if you hold down Option, or if you hold down um, command, you can get things to uh, do some twisting, right? So when I say um, option, that's for the Macs, uh, alt is for the PCs. So on top of that, you can also do your warping, which can be helpful to, to add to. So he's like, oh, that's interesting. So I just hit command S, so it's asking me, do you want to save to the cloud or to to the computer. So I'm going to click Save to my computer, Try for demos. It's not a Cubay one anymore. I want you guys to use your first Susan and, my, and your last name like that. And then this one is Cube Emotions. Hard to type well, I think. Okay, so um, as you save things, I want you to embed color profile, hit save. Okay, um, so that's uh, just sort of the beginning of drawing for us. Uh, Command D to deselect. Um, and I'm just gonna finish off the drawing on this particular little guy. <laughs> uh, it looks like he's got a little bit bigger chin right there, which is kind of funny for me. So um, another thing you can do is uh, lasso down here and then Command Shift I selects everything else that's not the, that other part, which you had just selected. Now I hit, can hit Command T and play with um, that part of it. Um, warping might help because um, I might need it to kind of come in and play like that. So it's pretty helpful to have these, these tools. <laughs> so you might get a little bit surprised by what you get from the warp hit return and Command D, and that's a, that's a fun look. This looks like his older brother. Okay, so I would spend more time on the drawing of it, but that's an a intro to uh, working with layers, finding a pencil and an eraser, running through um, the, the tools for warping. Okay, so save. Um, this one I can just hit save. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.